Hey, so uh, I'm Devin Craig. I'm a guard from the Southwest Slammers. I'm Manier Wugal. I'm a guard from the Southwest Slammers. Yeah, well, um, I can't talk exactly on last year, but I have previously been a junior down at the Slammers, so I understand the struggle and what the guys have had to fight through. I've been the same. Um, but it's just been great to have the motivation and just to know that we don't have the backing from a lot of people just means that we can come together as a core and we can really just believe in what we believe in and um, hopefully have a really fun and successful year through our eyes. Last year, um, you know, we had, we had a, a lot of good games. Uh, we started off the games really well and just the score doesn't justify how well we played. So coming in this year, I feel like we got a, a lot more motivation, a lot of fuel to the fire and just come to prove people wrong because everyone knows downing us, so it's going to be a good year. Uh, some, of, some of the young guys you got to keep an eye out, Pharrell, um, Pharrell Keats, one of our guards, he's really athletic, um, super speedy guard, just real smart. That's a, that's a name to look out for this season. Uh, yes, yeah, so Pharrell's definitely one. I'd say we've got some guys down from Margaret River and outer regions as well, like um, Art Harvey. Um, we've got a couple other guys that are coming through that are looking really good and they're stepping into their pathways to, you know, hopefully get a good run at D-League and then get some NBL1 run as well. The atmosphere is What's your most important? Yeah, well, um, look, I've got a lot of culture from home. Um, my dad used to play and he won three championships out there with the Slammers. So I feel like just walking into that arena constantly, it just feels like a very family-based arena. You can walk in there, you can say hi to anyone. They're always having conversations. And there's just so much rural protection and love for everyone. And that's, I think that's why it's so good to come down and play at home instead of, you know, the two-hour drive up to Perth. Yeah, I, lo I love the community down there. And I just love the, the Bunbury town itself, the beaches, everything's just amazing. And it's my second year here, and it's just, I, feel, I felt the love the first year. That's why I had to come back, you know. Was, there's nothing like the Bunbury love. I love it. Now, what are you guys looking forward to most this season? Just, 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 just um, proving everybody wrong and just showing, um, seeing the work um, pay off because, you know, been putting a lot of work the past couple of months and just seeing it come into life. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, for me, looking over the team last year, over from a, another club up in Perth, um, I think just bringing in a couple new pieces, uh, a couple from Perth, we've got a couple coming over from elsewhere. Um, I think just adding those couple pieces that um, we might have possibly missed or would have wanted, uh, I think is going to be really awesome and then just see what's going to come from that. I think there's going to be a lot of success come from the club this year and I just can't wait to be a part of it. Yeah, so I played in the West Coast Classic, so there was even less exposure, so that was my thing. There's so much more exposure now, you know, like, you have two or three good games and you might have teams from Vic or Adelaide or Queensland that want to recruit you, and um, it's just really cool to know that anyone can watch from anywhere in the world, they don't have to be there at the core at the time to watch. So I think just the exposure is the biggest thing for me with the NBL 1 compared to your SBL and your Seabulls, etc. I think that's the best part. Oh, the league has grown so much, like, it is... Um being back in America, a lot of people like knew about NBL One, which I was like, "Wow, that's incredible!" And just now seeing some G League guys coming, I seen Sharif, Sharif for nil. There was um, reports of him about to sign. It's, it's really gone big, and it's, it's, it's amazing how how much it's grown. Uh, well, for me personally, I'm just here just to help out the Bunbury boys, just to score for them. But uh, yeah, Dev is the one. Um, so for us, it's just cool. Um, obviously, we all play at our association, which is Bunbury Bears for us. But it's just a country championships where everyone gets to come down. There's a bunch of divisions. There's a bunch of different levels. Just get to come down and play with your mates and just have a lot of fun. Um, and for me, I think just right before the season, it's just a real fun thing to play with your mates. We've got a couple guys that we'll be playing with with the Slammers. And it's just cool to have a bit more of a fun environment before we step into the full seriousness of NBL1. Uh, I think it's just Devin Craig underscore. I could be wrong, but I think that's it, yeah. M Wugol, M W U G O L. It's funny you say that. We've actually been talking together about trying to get a camp down, um, down south. Uh, it's, it's just in the beginning phase of trying to get something, but um, as soon as we can get something out, we'll have posts and. Too good. Cheers for having us. If you open, I don't care where you are. I want you to take the shot. On three. One, two, three. Yeah.